time for the work. Down to the podcast. Yeah. Blessings, blessings, blessings. It's your host, Sean Myrie of the Down to Earth Podcast. Yup, this episode is called The Social Experiment. Yes, The Social Experiment. Talking about social media and the effects on people all over the globe, all over the world. What it's doing, uh, is it helping or is it um, just making people more under control, right? So social media... It's been big, real big since the early 2000s. Well, since the early 2000s, it's been introduced more to the global global world, the world, the market, right? Uh, the internet. The internet uh, became active about the early 90s. I mean, for everybody to use, right? Or more people to use, the early 90s. But now, it's everywhere. Um, Facebook, I remember Facebook... I think it was 2000, 2001, Facebook. I remember when that was introduced. Before that, there was something called Black Planet. If anybody remembers that, Black Planet is like what uh, Instagram is and Facebook is today. It was a social network for uh, a lot of African Americans or people of the black, uh, you know, heritage background to uh, meet up and network with each other and all types of things, right? A profile. Now... We fast forward, you know, past, you know, Twitter was around near the same time as uh, Facebook. I don't know the exact dates, but now we have tons of um, apps, tons of apps. It's 2023. A lot of different social networks. There's more than one. There's like, uh, I can't even count how much, how much there is. But the main ones, for example, um, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, um, there's others, but those are the main ones. What I'm talking about. And now, if you're a business person, if you don't, if you're not on the net, it's like you don't exist. If you're an artist, a music artist, if you're not on the internet, it's like you don't exist. Any person who's doing a business, if you're not on the internet, it's like you don't exist. You might exist still, but it's like um, it could be good for your bit. It's a good and a bad thing. It could be good for your business because it's a cheaper way. It could be cheaper to promote your product or your business. But um, what's bad is, you know, it's not really bad, but you got a lot more competition more than if you were like you had your own store front in, you know, somewhere in the city. Right. Because even no, no matter what, people like to see the physical. They could see things online all they want. But if you, you, you have a storefront and you are um, on the internet, it's even better, right? The same thing with an artist. If you're an artist on the internet and you go and you actually do shows, you actually perform, that's even better because you're touching your fan, you're, you're reaching your fans. They're seeing you. They're, you. You get what I mean? Instead of just seeing you on the internet. That's why it's good to do shows. It's good to do interviews, make uh, people know who you are, right? So social media made a lot of jobs. Bloggers, um, podcasters got, got more big in the last couple of years. Um, what else? Uh, influencers. There's people now who are getting paid to be influencers. Um, people are getting, um, you know, they're getting all types of business going on, right? sponsors ambassadors now yeah there's a lot of business going on but now our freedom as much as there's all this stuff going on in social media your freedom of speech and censorship is determined by them is policed by them and you can't blame them because they control the system which you want to be a part of and you pay for it you pay every month for your internet provider or if you have a phone your data if you choose to do that right 
not everybody's on social media, but a lot of people still watch, right? Not everybody's on there, but they do watch. But if you're on social media, what's the benefit being on it if you're not making money? That's what a lot of people would say. What's the benefit being on the internet, right? Doing all these things and you're not making no money. That was my uh, only reason to be on social media is to promote myself as an artist and to do business as an artist, right? And also now as a, a, a content maker, podcaster, promoter, you know, a YouTuber, you got to be on the internet. If you're going to do anything on these platforms, you got to be on social media, you got to network because that's the business, that is the business it's like hollywood you want to be an actor you got to do all these uh types of things you got to do um you got to go to hollywood in in you got to go to hollywood um you got to do a lot of things online to make people notice you even actors right now if they want to get another if they want to try to get another script or you got to make people interested in you right now people want to know that you're alive how do you get recognized for a role now? It's different. It's not like before, right? How do you get recognized to get a role as an actor, right? They have, um, I guess, um, what you would say, um, rehearsals. They got, they got uh, certain events for um, actors and actresses to come to, to network together, to see managers, prom- uh, people who are executives, um, all types of business people it's even in the music industry and a lot of other industries fashion industry right if you if you're into fashion how do you promote your clothes you got to be online right they they have shows model shows that was always going on but you you need the media social media that's what it's called now social media so people supposed to socialize socialize meaning uh talking with each other interacting with each other but now there's people who use social media for all types of things some things negative some things positive uh, some, sometimes both right so it's how you use it and are you making money from it is it benefiting you are you going far with it or are you just uh you know just on the internet watching people they call the, they have all different types of names now they got trolls right they got bloggers they got all types of names but the internet is controlled by who who do you think the internet is controlled by these companies or the government so they study people's probably um characteristics their attitudes right their habits on the internet you ever notice when you're on the phone uh the same thing is something you were talking about just pops up on your phone you ever notice that coincidence right your search engine whatever you search they know kind of your 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 habits your characteristics if you want to call it that um what you like they see everything you see so the internet just listen to the name is to see everything it's the eye right it's the eye because when you're on your phone, if you're on a laptop, what do they all have in common? A camera. They all have cameras. We don't know if they could turn that on and turn that, uh, or turn it off. We really don't know. We just think that we're putting putting down your phone and, yo, you don't know. Because as long as your, your device is hooked up to the internet, like I said, they can monitor you wherever, you at, wherever you're at, right? This is part of the what people call the New World Order. Which what's been around for a good while, where there's different levels, and now it's turned up, right? Social media has changed a lot of social uh, structures in our society, like how we identify people, uh, how we gotta basically talk right now, uh, how we gotta be very sensitive more than ever. Now, if you're a comedian, for example, like Dave Chappelle. Freedom of speech is the biggest tool for a lot of comedians. For example, Dave Chappelle, he's very controversial because he talked about certain groups, right? 
And because he talked about certain groups, and it's all over social media now, not just uh, in a uh, way you'd say a comedy film, it's all over social media. People will take bits and pieces of the film and repost it. Now, that creates a lot of, um, you know, uh, heat on people like Dave Chappelle. But it should not be because before all this social media, things like that was normal. What Dave Chappelle would be speaking as a comedian, right? Richard Pryor, very controversial. Uh, let's go now to like Roseanne, Roseanne um, Dice Clay. Uh, they have a special called The Dark Side of Humor. You should really look it up. It's a, net, it's a Netflix special, The Dark Side of Humor. And you see Roseanne and Dice Clay, for example, very controversial, uh, making fun of uh, all types of groups, all types of groups. Now, if that was to like be promoted now or come out, if a comedian was to come out now like Roseanne and Dice Clay, I don't even think they could come out. They would be um, basically banned. They would be scrutinized for all what they have mentioned. But it makes you wonder. A lot of people agreed with what they were saying or took it as comedy jokes, right? They spoke about all types of people. Just look it up. Andrew Dice Clay and Roseanne. Look it up in the 80s, them as uh, stand-up comedians. A lot of people don't know Roseanne as a stand-up comedian, a certain generation, but she was a comedian, right? So the freedom of speech and censorship is basically taken away right now. There is no freedom of speech. I hope people know that. There is no freedom of speech. W was there ever any freedom of speech? I guess it's the level, what you, how you make it, right? Because you see what happened to Malcolm X and, and Martin Luther King and one of the, the Kennedys, right? So, no, the, both Kennedy brothers, actually, what I'm talking about. So that was social media back then. Malcolm X and Martin Luther King being, like, you know, filmed speeches and all that. That was social media. People look on that. Anything that was going through the television is social media. It just wasn't the Internet social media where you could uh, put your um, comments under a post right so how social media affecting society right now well I can't lie a lot of people are guilty of it right now if you want to do research you just have to google go on to google look up a, uh, whatever you want and you could find some information on it so it has as much as technology is supposed to be so intelligent it has dumbed down the population by not really, like, you know, doing all types of research. All you have to do is Google what someone uh, mentioned and look it up, right? You do, you're doing some type of research, but it's not the same, right? Sometimes people could put, there could be fictitious things even on the internet. So you got to be really smart and aware what is real from the fake because they have something called fake news, Fake news is what they might take a little bit of a story what is real and have to twist it into something else, right? So now it's hard to figure out what is real because it's like a reverse psychology. A lot of the things out there they will say is fake news could be real news and what is re what they put out as real could be fake. Just listen to that and then you understand what I'm saying. So, the social experiment what is the social experiment? Well, the experiment right now is having all types of definitions to uh, identify with people, right? And it's to separate people also, right? Um, that's what it is, the social experiment. They're basically studying 